Hi, today we're going to learn how to make one of the lighter spears using the blade type spearhead that we sell at Knives of the North. So when you're choosing a handle, you want to pick one that is straight. Surprisingly high percentage of these handles are not straight. So you want to sight all the way down the handle here and you want to roll it back and forth to make sure that it's not bending or wobbling as it's rolling. That indicates if the handle is straight or not. So when you buy these handles, they're, they're not always consistent in terms of this metal shank over here. Some of these shanks are, are wider or narrower than others. And the wider ones don't always fit these spearheads on it very well. So one of the first things that I do is I heat the spearheads up in a crock pot. As you can see, I've got a crock pot in here, no liquid or anything in there, on high, and this has been going for about an hour. What that does is it expands the metal just enough so that it fits nice and neat and firmly over the top of the handle. So the next step is I'm going to mark the, ed the bottom edge of the um, spearhead here with a nail. This is just an ordinary roofing nail, nothing special, but I'm marking it because our next step is to drill. And this being a curved surface, without this starting point here, the drill is going to move all over the place. So just take a hammer and a nail and, ha, that's great. Take a hammer and nail and just give it a couple quick taps. All right, so now that we've got the spearhead mounted on the handle and we've got a little divot there for, as a pilot point for the drill, the next step is to drill it. Now this is a quarter inch drill bit on a drill press. You can you know, feel free to freehand it if you want. And we're drilling all the way through the head and the handle and then we're going out the other side. You can see how it's still trying to walk on me a little bit here. Go ahead. Okay, now that we've got uh, the hole drilled through both the head and the handle, I'm running a quarter inch bolt through with a nut on the other end. And then I'm just going to take a couple wrenches and tighten it up. You don't want to tighten it up so much that it deforms the metal underneath. You just want to snug it up just enough so that's not going to go anywhere. So the final step is to cut off this excess bolt that's sticking out here. So I'm going to use an angle grinder. You don't have to have one of these. You can use a hacksaw or something like that. And there's the finished product, ready to throw.